The Bernina L850 loves working with decorative threads. Whether you're doing a rolled hem, a wide three thread, or a flat lock, there's so many fun looks that you can add when you're using thicker thread that doesn't go through the needle. So on the serger, it goes through the upper looper or the lower looper, allowing you for to get that fun, extra bold stitching along the edge of your fabric. Now we've actually just done this three thread wide decorative edge, and we'll link right up here to that particular video, but we're gonna pick up and add one more decorative thread to the lower looper. So right now it doesn't have a decorative thread down here, we're just using our standard thread. And I wanna show you how you bypass the air threading pipes and actually try travel through this area here. So I want to show you how we're going to bypass the air threaded pipes here and use this secondary guide for our heavier thread. So you still don't have to thread this yourself, but I'm going to show you how to get it set up. And we're going to add this extra. Uh, this one's Razzle Dazzle by Ricky Timms. It's a great thread for sergers, couching, or bobbin work on your sewing machine. We're going to add it to the lower looper. The lower looper is where I have the red thread or the pink thread, and I'm actually gonna clip it right above the air threading pipe area, and then go ahead and remove this entire spool. Next, place the decorative thread in place, and all you have to do is thread it through the regular tension area. Now let's talk tension for just a second. Since this is going to be a thicker thread, let's go ahead and loosen that tension. Just give it a little breathing room right now so we don't forget. And you'll notice that my other tension, which does have that decorative thread through it, already has been reduced to two. So the only thing you need to do next is to thread it directly through one of the holes right here. So that's not an open guide. You definitely need to manually thread it through. And then I'm gonna pause right here. You'll notice that the pink thread that we cut is showing up right here in this tube area. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. So I have something to tie this through. Once I tie these together, I'll use the thread that's coming through it now and pull it through the rest of the looper. A simple overhand knot or like a balloon knot with both the threads hanging out together is an easy knot that will not come apart. If you wanna trim off the tails, go ahead and do so. Then get a hold of the end of the lower looper thread and then just pull it right through the hole. At this point, if you wanna just slip it underneath the presser foot and kind of behind the knife, that works. Once we go ahead and close up all the doors, we'll be able to stitch and see how it looks. I'm so excited to see what it's gonna look like with the yellow kind of metallic decorative thread on the back of this edge. Wow, it's actually amazing. Let's take a look at it. If you don't want to waste your decorative thread, I'm a fan of clipping the thread right here so I'm not wasting extra thread bringing it around to the front cutter. So it is fun to see what it looks like. Now remember, you can lengthen out the stitch length if you don't want it so heavy. You can um, bring it closer together if you want it to fill in even more. But using the outside needle, so we have the three thread wide overlock edge set up. So we have the left needle in and the right needle has been removed. And again, decorative threads go through the loopers, not the needles. But how fun is this? So if you are gonna see it front and back, definitely put a decorative thread in the upper looper and the lower looper. If you're only gonna see one side of the stitch, you can definitely skip that second side and just use regular thread. So just adjust the tension just a little bit. Um, you could go heavier or lighter depending on how it looks once you get it stitched, but have some fun. There are tons of serger decorative stitches out there for you to try on this Bernina L850 serger.